Welcome to Momentum Monday. Today is November 29th, 2020. And I'm here with Eminem, with the Canadian Eminem. Smarties. That's right, Ivan. Stonks only go up. I wish I had come up with that saying now that they really just only go up. Uh, most of them, yeah, absolutely. I mean, in fact, the only two assets that are currently not going up are the US dollar and gold. Yeah, I think uh, I think both those will change direction some point soon, but uh, I'm not betting on big on either. The That's really good for emerging market. Well, let's get right into it, buddy. Yeah. I think, I think the story is the NASDAQ. You know, the headlines are Dow 30,000, but the story is the NASDAQ. There you go, right there, you get it. I mean, there's several stories going on. Uh, I know, but look at that thing. That, that, if that doesn't go higher, I'd be shocked. Definitely, now the platform that is setting up for a breakout. And uh, I mean, look at that base. Then take a look at, let's take a look at the FANG stocks, which have been kind of going sideways. Let's, let's just go right to Facebook, for example. Okay, Facebook definitely setting up for a breakout. I like it. I don't know. I have, yeah. So 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 look at so so let's. This is my theme today. I look at the underperformance of ad based models, and let's go look at Etsy. Go look at Etsy. And let's see if you can find the common theme. Let's go look at uh, Matt, uh, um, what was the one that I liked? The Farfetch. I think you see it, you'll see a theme, right? In the platforms, in the e-commerce platform, Shopify over the last few years. And if you open it, and so let's go back to, and Shopify setting up, so that looks great too. So if you go look back at Facebook and you think about, they, they're gonna have to make a move. And you can see it in the Instagram app. If you open the Instagram app, I don't know if you use Instagram, I, mean, I use it uh, once in a while to look at photos. It's fucking, it's like a f new app. It's like you open the app, it says Facebook, and then there's like a camera button and a shopping button. And it's like, they have set the stage. They've been listening and everybody says that they're not listening. The only company not listening in the market is Twitter. But if you look at Facebook, they've been, they are poised to do big things in e-commerce. If you just have to open the Instagram app. I mean, meanwhile, Twitter, which you know, basically is copying Instagram at this point in time, has no subscription business, no e-commerce business. But if you look at Facebook, I'll be, sh you, you can tell by the Instagram app, they're gonna make a huge move into commerce. You know, if you talk about Facebook the stores that they're doing, their partnership with Shopify. So I think on the, on the strength of e-commerce, I think the QQQ, going back to the QQQ, is just gonna go higher. And then if we look at Google breaking out, I mean, I don't know necessarily what that means. It's just the strongest of the, of the uh, FANG stocks. So well, it is going to be this year. If you, so if, you, if you take away all the news, which you have to do, because this, this year is wacko. The only news that matters, there's like, the thin guy became president. Forgetting all the headlines, there's just a thinner person won the president. The market is pricing in quagmire. The vaccine, you know, this mRNA, the marina. I mean, if you really do some reading, and I finally started doing some reading just because you had to do some reading because every headline is this stock. This, this company is fascinating. If you really think back on how fast they came up with uh, they had no products and how fast this technology solved the problem. So, you know, that was always my rant on NASDAQ 10,000. Now we're at NASDAQ, I don't know, 12,000 and going much higher. So, so again, there could be some macro news. It could be the dollar gets super weak quickly. I mean, I don't know. There's always something on page 10 that's going to come, but I have no idea. So now you take it away. What do you think? I mean, as I mentioned earlier, basically everything is going up. Uh, last week, if you take a look at the best performing sectors, it's, it's energy and clean energy. Like all the economy. Yeah, it made no sense. It made no sense. Like, yeah, Tesla all time high and oil like breaking out. Yeah. So the market is simultaneously discounting 
the impact of a working vaccine and also, you know, but at the same time, software companies are doing great uh, and breaking out. Uh, everything is going up. There's definitely a little bit of a hint of a frothiness in the market. A little froth. Um, Even I'm wearing an orange watch, orange. But at the same time, there, there's still good setups. So I guess we- great setups. I, I was just, I was just following some trader. because <coughs> I, I I'm long, so I, I mean, I'm not looking for new ideas, but this APPS looks good. The IBD, you know, we, we follow IBD, but they're IBD 50. I mean, uh, oh, digital turbine. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking at all these companies that have just had these great runs. Uh, I mean, I don't know where the entry, I mean, the entries, whoop, you just saw my legs. I am wearing pants, so I've been. The, uh, the, I don't, the entries, you know, it's hard, it's hard to buy stocks up 400%, but, but, you know, so it's harder for me to get super excited about new ideas. What are you seeing that looks like out of a good base? I mean, the NASDAQ itself looks great. The NASDAQ and, you know, I like Facebook here. I think Facebook is setting up for a breakout. If you remember last week, we talked about pay, uh, PayPal setting up for a breakout. It had a huge week. Yeah, yeah, it was a good right, call. Right now, Facebook is looking similarly. I think it, I think it will test 300 at some point uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I own it. I own it. Yep. There are a bunch of setups. I mean, different. For, for example, this one, Align Technology, uh, setting up again here for a test of 500 after it bounced near its rising 20-day uh, moving average. Yeah, the biotechs, XBI, I mean, that's... The biotech had a big breakout on Friday. Um, all of them. Ooh, kind of yeah, but up. the XBI is, is actually the better. I forget which one's equal weighted and which one's... I mean, XBI looks much better. I own them both, just as a proxy, if people know. Because yeah. um, I don't own biotech stocks the uh, in general. <clears throat> Elastic reports earnings this week is one of my bigger positions. Um, there's just no competition. It's ESTC. Oh, yeah. Open source is in vogue. Um, it's kind of shaking out a lot of people, but it's starting to look like all the patterns are starting to look the same, huh, Ivan? Uh, many of them, yeah. Um, cannabis stocks, parking up. You know, yeah, I think I've mentioned here MSOS is the way to play the, because Todd Harrison and I have been doing a ton of interviews. MSOS has been the way to play the, if you don't want to own pink sheet uh, US, because the way to play this is US companies and they're all pink sheets. So MSOS is an ETF that uh, <clears throat> invests in uh, uh, state operators. Obviously it's had just a great run. I, I, I wouldn't chase it personally, but uh, uh, I'm along that. Yeah. Uh, what else do you see? Derivative plays in Marijuana, like you have. Uh, this has been a monster. You yeah. have SMG, um, you have IIPR, these are kind of derivative uh, secondary plays. Um, well, IIPR, that, that looks great. That's a REIT. Yeah. Growing cannabis REIT. Beautiful. What a home run. Jesus. Um, yeah, a lot of the software stock uh, bouncing. Uh, and and obviously with weak... You know, my two, my my uh, Latin American players are doing great because of the weak uh, dollar too. We got Melly, Stone, and Pags. They just continue to go. Yeah, I mean, they're not they're not offering entries really. They're just a, they're just constant. Well, the good, the good ranking for Melly was right here in that the tight range consolidation. People are waiting for breakouts, and I think you almost have to be the dip buyer instead. But uh, Pags and Stone Pags looks fantastic. So this is kind of the laggard in the group, but I mean, you know, weekly high close, you know, all the volumes on the, on the rises, um, you know, that, that, that could go. Stone is the competitor in that space, STNE, which has just been on a tear that I own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm not adding, but, uh, so I don't know, I mean, you know, Stone, I actually was a seller of some stock. I, my favorite idea continues to be the e-commerce stuff. Um, Fetch has been is has been the one that uh, I'm not selling as it just it's just digesting these huge gains. Yeah. Here, look at the blue. Yeah. What do you think of the blue volume? 
no one sell them at that. And, you know, Amazon's there to buy it if it drops 30%. I don't know. Stitch Fix, even the dog of e-commerce. Like, literally, it's just a joke. I bought that even though I hate it. Just, yeah. I bought it midweek, shared it, and it's just going up. Because, you know, I mean, if she, if she blows another quarter, forget about it. But this thing, if she has a good quarter, this thing's going to go to 80. You know, $3 billion stock, where's it at? Three, yeah, $4 billion company. Someone will buy it. Like, I mean, this whole industry is becoming, and I think once Facebook really goes after e-commerce with, with a bang, you know, I mean, they could buy their way. Yeah, Lulu's breaking out, Nike, all-time high, Ivan. I mean, it's a comedy. Yeah. What, what, where did you shop for Black Friday? Did you buy anything? No, I don't go to the mall. Uh, you know, I was thinking I'm going to go to ATG. I was thinking of buying a Tesla, and I think we'll end with Tesla. It's, you know, bigger than... Uh, Warren Buff, bigger than Berkshire, seventh biggest company in the world. I mean, look at that thing. Yeah, I wouldn't chase it here. I think it's, it's due for a full I have no idea. The stock has no, there's no rules. This thing has been, this thing is, we're, 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 NIO is the only company that's been the, the Chinese version of this thing. I mean, the oh, Chinese have at least, you know, five versions of Tesla. Yeah, the stock's $3 six months ago. This, these are trade. This is like, why would you be a venture capitalist? I joke about it. Like, what the hell? You got liquidity. You've had 10 baggers in a year. IRR is a thousand percent. I don't think they're shipping a goddamn car. $57 billion market cap. I mean, I don't, you know. They are not. I mean, if you, anything related to electric vehicles, and we've, we've talked about it, has been extremely <coughs> hot. And sometimes the market discount events that are kind of going to happen 10, 15 years from now, not the next year. I mean, the same thing happened in the late 90s when basically the market said that the internet is going to rule the world and it happened. It just didn't happen, you know, overnight. Yeah, but, yeah. So right now yeah, this yeah. is happening with electric vehicles. I mean, they're coming. They're going to rule the world in 10 years. It, it, it just no, I, was, I, I, did my, I did my ride today. I mean, it was, it was, I think 30% of North Scottsdale has a Tesla, right? Like 30%. Like it's not some fake company. I mean, it's seventh largest company in the world for, for a reason, right? And every single person owns a Tesla, it loves their car, right? And then every single person that owns a Tesla is going to end up doing solar in their house because, yeah. because they're going to. And um, so that's why you see Tan. Look, look at for solar was one that I think just is just starting to like play catch up. Yeah. And uh, I had a pretty good week basically closing it. Uh, you know, I know it's had higher prices 10 years ago, but like that's basically an all time high. I don't know. Anybody left that was there is not a good investor, anyways. So it's basically an all time high. And, um, you know, going around the horn, Taser, AAXN, another great. Yeah, that's for solar. So what are you watching this week for yourself, Ivan? What are you looking? As I said, Facebook, <laughs> IAPR, yeah. all, the, all the marijuana plays. Uh, you know, just a bunch of setups. You know, I run my screens every day, just find different setups. And that's why I said there's definitely very clear evidence of, of uh, fraudiness in the market. But at the same time, I, I, still, great, I still see great setups. And... Uh, so I just continue to play the setups. I mean, the music's still playing. So we just keep dancing, I guess. All right. Well, keep dancing. How's San Diego? Oh, it's, I mean, incredible. Incredible weather uh, in the 70s. Yeah. Beautiful, sunny. Mm, what's the lockdown look like there? I mean, you, if you go to restaurants, you have to, you have to dine on the street, basically, outside. And that's about it. Okay. All right. Well, stay safe. We'll check in next week. Thanks, IBD. The, um, you know, we, you know, these things, this, this will come to an end, but in China, enjoy it. We're, I mean, we're enjoying it. I don't know. Don't overthink it. Yeah, exactly. All right. See you next week. All right. Have a good week, everybody.